Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com Today in this video I'm going to talk about very interesting and a very small scenario but very powerful which is how you can execute your Jenkins job with the same parameters okay it may sound little tough but let me show you what exactly it means and why do we need it and how it can help you or I would say how it can save a lot of time you know just by installing a small plugin so if you have followed my previous videos then we have created one of the job called parameter job right where i have showed you how we can have multiple or uh, different kind of parameters to your jenkins job right so if i just run this build with parameter you will see we have a string password we have drop down then this is just a boolean and finally one path right so let's say if i give this username as mukesh which is just a random username okay and if i just use a password let's say otwani and if i select a browser called firefox status i will uncheck and let me select a file i will select a random file first of all so let's say i will just select this image and i will click on build the moment you run this build it will take whatever parameters were given and it will simply execute right but next time when i will run this job and if i click on build with parameters what it will do it will again take the same default parameters okay so let's wait let me just click on this job and you will see it will take the latest values that we have provided right which is firefox false username i entered yes mukesh otwani and finally the path which is nothing but my image but now if you go and build with parameter once again it will come back to the default values that we have set right which is jenkins and some password and the existing path so what happens in real times so let's say you have executed job with new values and right now i have just five uh, parameters so immediately you can go and change it but if you have a job which has let's say 10 to 15 parameters and every time you have to go and change the parameters in order to run it it looks or uh, you know it will take a lot of time and sometimes it's a little annoying to fill the same values which you have already entered in the last build so right now if you see we don't have any other way where i can run the same job with the last parameters that i have provided so just to save this time just to avoid this overhead we have a dedicated plugin in jenkins called rebuilder just type rebuilder jenkins plugin so what exactly it does it will simply rebuild your job with the same parameters which you have provided in the last build okay so let's use the same so i will just search this plugin in our package manager or plugin manager and we will simply install this plugin and then we will see how we can use this so go to manage jenkins click on manage plugins and right now i don't have this plugin so i have to find this into let's say in this available section so if you already have you will find under installed but if you don't have just go and search inside available section so either you can type in my case i already copied so i will simply paste here and it says this plugin is for rebuilding a job using the same parameters click on this and install without restart it will take few seconds and it will start as you can see this plugin is installed now so if i go back to the same and if i simply refresh so let's run this job once again since we have um installed this plugin so let me change this values and then we will build and uh, then we will see what other option you will get here okay so again i will go and change this time this value to selenium for password i will change to let's say web driver some random password browser this time i will select edge i will uncheck this and this file this time i will select a different file okay and let me click on build So as you can see now this is uh, successfully completed 
So if I open this, you will see the same options. This time I pass Selenium WebDriver, False, Edge and this particular file. But this time we also have one more option called Rebuild. Okay. So the moment I click on Rebuild, you will see the same parameters that I have provided in the last execution. So I have provided Selenium WebDriver, Edge, Uncheck and this path. So the moment you click on Rebuild, it will run the same job with the last parameters that you have provided. In case if you want to change some values for this particular iteration, you can change it and you can rebuild it. So I clicked on rebuild. I have the same options. This time I want to simply select this checkbox and I want to rebuild once again. So this time when you run, you will see the latest values and it will run the same job. Okay. So as you can see, it's completed now. The moment I open the same build, you will see the values that we have provided this time it is taking the same checkbox that we have provided as true in the last execution so if i click on rebuild i will get the same parameters plus the new parameter that we have used in the last execution so very quick video just use this plugin so in case if your job have a lot of parameters and you don't want to change every time use this plugin and in case if you are not using or you don't want to change these parameters every time even if you don't install this it should be fine but yeah if you have this in the long run definitely it would help you so that's all for this video guys so i hope you got some benefit or some new idea from this channel if yes then please support this channel subscribe this channel share with your friends and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye